travelers, it's Liz from Me to Travel, and today I am flying standby for the first time since March 2020. And I'm gonna go visit my best friend who works for an airline, which is how I have access to fly standby. And she lives in Salt Lake City, so I'm gonna be flying from Chicago O'Hare Airport to Salt Lake City Airport today. And I chose today because it's Friday. We're gonna go spend a long weekend together. And there's like 62 open seats on this plane, so chances are really high I'm gonna get a seat. <laughs> I think I'm the only person listed right now. So I thought I would do a quick vlog, so that way you guys can follow along with me and see what the standby process looks like in 2021. All right, let's go. By the way, the first thing I always do is double check what my flights look like, like right before I leave for the airport, just in case something happens. So I'm on my laptop now. I'll check again once I get to the airport and connect to Wi-Fi, but I'm gonna head out soon. Okay, so I'm waiting for the subway now. Oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty. Um, it's like mid seventies and I'm wearing my travel outfits. I'm wearing like long kind of warmer pants not the right attire for standing outside right now. At least I'm in the shade. Um, but I just got here a couple minutes ago and honestly, I'm so sad because I just missed a train and the next one doesn't come for like 15 more minutes. Um, but at least I'm like really close to being able to get to the airport via train, which is really convenient. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll be able to make it so I can eat lunch at the airport, but I'm not really sure. I have some almonds just in case. I always pack snacks just in case. Okay, wish me luck. Hopefully the train comes at least in that 15 minute window. Okay, my nails already chipped. <laughs> Always, every time I fly. What about Mark? I'll have to touch it up uh, when I get there. out of Terminal 2. So here we go. Oh my gosh. I'm feeling the time crunch, you guys. Okay, gotta check in, get my standby boarding pass. Gotta find one that works. <laughs> All right, let's go. That was easy. Like a minute just to get my boarding pass. Super quick. Now I'm going to the TSA pre-check line. I'm gonna go through security so I won't film. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, you guys, we are back in business. I just made it through security in like 10 minutes. Um, super easy and I'm about to go fill up my water bottle and then figure out some food. I've got 45 minutes or maybe an hour. No, 50 minutes till my plane leaves. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Okay, I think there might actually be time to go to the Delta Sky Club. Oh, it'd be awesome to be able to use my Amex Platinum cards, like free benefits and get some free lunch today. All right. Yeah. Can't wait. Okay. 
coming around. Um, they had to like scan me in special because I'm flying scan die, which is fine. It just took longer. And um, I, there's a lot of people because it's lunchtime, it's like 12.30, um, waiting for food. So I couldn't really like film very well the actual spread, but I got hummus and pita and some cats. Sorted crudite, I think is what it was called. Fancy stuff, not just veggies. <laughs> and uh, some cheese, and then they had like desserts and stuff to go that I got a brownie. So we'll see if I end up eating that um, on the plane. I'm gonna chow down on this real quick, and then my gate is like a maybe three minute walk away. <sighs> like, I sound tired, right? Like I look tired. I can see that in the filming. <laughs> I just feel like I've been like super stressed about all the timing with this. And I always try to like leave with a lot of spare time on standby days and I just did not account for having to wait for the train for like 20-25 minutes um but yeah just a lesson learned I gotta give myself even more time not a practice I think okay I gotta eat all right see you guys soon okay here's a brownie I'm not gonna eat it here especially so it doesn't get stuck in my teeth while you're on the plane Okay, leaving the lounge. <laughs> I think I just spent only like 10 minutes in there just to eat. It was super crowded. Um, did everybody get an Amex Platinum card during the pandemic? Because <laughs> it was definitely not that crowded pre-pandemic, I feel. Um, yeah. Anyway, heading to the gate now. It's E16, so I have a little bit of a walk, but only like a minute or two. I'm definitely approaching the gate now and it's like 35 minutes before the flight and they're already boarding. <laughs> I gotta find my name on the board somehow. It looks like the boards are announcing the boarding so I need to figure this out. So normally when I fly standby my name is listed on these like big screens on a list that rotates every once in a while and I try to get to the gate a little bit before boarding starts so that way I can see if I have a seat assignment and unfortunately boarding already started when I got to the gate so I don't think that I have a seat assignment because I checked in the app and I might have to just be the last person on the plane today but it's okay because I believe there's still like 62 open seats so no matter what I'm getting on my bag is gonna fly but uh <laughs> I just don't know what my seat is still. They finally have my name kind of cut off there, but it's there. <laughs> I don't have a seat though still. <sighs> I made it on the plane, and there are tons of open seats. I might have this whole exit room myself. Awesome. Um, I asked for a window seat. Um, there weren't any first class seats available before the pandemic. I was always like super pro, like booking a flight that had first class available. But this one, the first class seats were all like completely full. And I don't know, I'd rather have a whole road of myself <laughs> in economy than a first class seat right now. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's what ends up happening. I was able to get all of my stuff on the plane really easy because it's not a full flight and a really kind guy um, in the row right over there um, helped me get my bag up into the overhead. Oh my gosh, I have to start lifting weights again because I am so out of like flying shape. But yeah, so hopefully you guys are enjoying following along as I fly standby. I'm on the plane, I made it. I can finally like relax a little bit. And now I gotta call my friend and tell her I made it. <laughs> position and all TV monitors stowed. Again, flight time is two hours and 57 minutes. We do appreciate your business uh, this Friday afternoon.
cabin pressure changes, the panels inside the lavatories and above your seat will open, revealing oxygen masks. If this happens, reach up and pull the mask towards you until the tube is fully extended to start the flow. Stop blowing into the tube at shoulder level. A water yeah. activated light is attached to the mask. Like For children who weigh less than 35 pounds, place okay. the mask around the infant's waist and secure the strap between the lights. Refer to the safety information card for more information. Additional light vests for inland children are located in a marked compartment at the front and rear of the plane. We'll distribute these vests if necessary. I've got my goldfish and a hot tea bag and I'm waiting for my hot tea water which honestly I'm not that desperate for because it's a little bumpy right now and I feel like, I don't know, it could be a little dangerous to have hot, hot water. <laughs> but I'm so excited for this oh, I love flying Zelda for this reason alone. <laughs> but many others as well. a little bit bumpier because we're just about to hit the Rocky Mountains, fly over Denver. But uh, I just want to let you all know that I've already started importing some files for this vlog. <laughs> Gotta use your time wisely when you have downtime on the airplane. Right, so we're about to land in Salt Lake City and there's a lake down there. It's not the Great Salt Lake though, unfortunately. Some sort of lake outside of Provo, looks like on the map. But if we pass the Great Salt Lake, I will absolutely show you guys. I don't know if we will though, because we're gonna land in like 10 minutes. So over there in the distance, you can kind of see all those different tiers in the mountain. That's definitely a mine. Um, there's a lot of mining operations in Salt Lake and lots of different kinds of mines. I don't know which ones that is, but you can always tell when the mountain looks a little bit kind of you know, unnatural, like it's been disturbed, it's usually a mine. Beautiful views of Salt Lake as we're landing. It's a beautiful day outside, like mid-70s and sunny. Very light winds, they said, too. So, very similar, actually, to what it was in Chicago when I left. And it used to look like way in the distance up there. That's definitely Salt Lake, the Great Salt Lake. It even looks a little salty, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh, sorry, I'm sure it's really blurry at this point. What a beautiful descent. Really easy landing. And welcome to Salt Lake City. Local time is 3.31. There is a one hour time difference. Please remain seated with your seatbelts passing. Until we park the gate and the captain turns off the seatbelt sign. Use caution when opening overhead bins. Items may have shifted during landing. You may now use your mobile devices, laptop computers may not be used at this time. Before you leave us, please make sure you have your own happy personal belongings, take your seat pocket right in front of you, overhead bin, and any items you brought on board. We are parking at Terminal A as an alpha gate number two. Um, there'll be adults and representative greeting this flight in case you have any questions with connecting gate information, baggage claim um, information as well. On behalf of your uh, Miami-based crew, we want to thank you again for choosing Delta this Friday. We enjoy having you aboard and we look forward to serving you again soon. Okay, we just keep playing. Super easy flight. Really cool to see an all-male crew, by the way, of flight attendants. Now I'm about to enter into the airport. Oh my god, it's so quiet in here. <laughs> now to go find Rachel. One of the benefits of getting picked up at the airport by an airport crew member based here is that literally she's like, as soon as I landed, she's like, I see you landed at gate A2, that's a really far away gate. So just make your way all the way through like 
down to the carousels and you're gonna go outside and you're gonna go to the pickup area and I'll see you there. And I'm like, awesome. <laughs> I don't have to even like think about it. <laughs> I just get to walk. Okay, the answer is yes, we're doing this. People are flying to Amsterdam. I'm not, maybe I will. That's awesome, I'm jealous. Okay, I don't know how much longer there is to go. I have now walked 23 gates, well, 22. I love how this airport is like so freaking beautiful and modern compared to so many others. And yet they're still just building a new one because why not? <laughs> I'm, not re I'm not remembering when it's supposed to be ready, but maybe it's just gonna be like an extension because this place is gorgeous, especially compared to O'Hare and like all the New York airports. <laughs> okay, sorry about that probably super awkward um, filming. <laughs> How was your hike? It was good. Good. All right, so I have to load my stuff. Hi, everybody. So I'm finally at Rachel's apartment and have made it to Salt Lake for the weekend. I hope you guys really liked this travel vlog day standby flying video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. And as always, if you haven't already, please press that red subscribe button down below too. So that way you don't miss any of the travel vlogs and other travel videos on this channel to come. Thanks everybody for watching. Cheers. Happy travels. Bye. Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe and let's hang out more. Here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.